Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Parents, heads up. If your child is still in a booster seat, the latest round of crash tests reveals some surprises. Tonight, problem solver Susan Hogan joins us live with how your booster seat rates. Well, you'll be happy to know that most booster seats rated high on the list, the latest round of crash tests, that is, but not all. Tonight, we'll show you if your child might actually be in danger when you think they're safely buckled in. It's a fear every parent has. A crash with your child in the back seat. But if they are properly buckled in a booster seat, chances of serious injuries are low. The main job for boosters is to elevate children and guide seat belts so that seat belts designed for adults fit kids properly and provide good protection in a crash. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety tested booster seats in its latest round of crash tests. In all, 47 boosters are considered best bets. Five seats are a good bet, meaning they provide acceptable belt fit in most vehicles. 37 in the check fit category may provide a good fit for some kids in some cars. Two boosters are not recommended because they don't provide proper belt fit and you are advised to avoid them. The Safety First All-in-One and Safety First Alpha Omega Elite, both made by Durrell Juvenile Group. They work fine as forward-facing or rear-facing child restraints, but they don't do a good job as boosters. They leave the lap belt too high up and the shoulder belt is too far off the shoulder. Some of the best bet boosters include Breetax Frontier 85, Evenflow Big Kids Sport, and Graco Turbo Booster. With a proper fitting booster, you've got to make sure the lap belt lies flat across your child's upper thighs and the shoulder belt crosses snugly over the middle of their shoulder. Now, if your child is currently using the two booster seats that did not test well, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety recommends you use them with the built-in harness as long as possible. For more information regarding the booster seat ratings, log on to our website at WPRI.com. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center. Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same WC right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.